Welcome back fans of all things Disney. Yesterday I did my shopping trip and it was the last shopping trip for this year. I'm actually going to take a little bit of a break because if you know me, you know that I don't kind of go halfway on most anything. So when it comes to the holidays, I am a bit insane with my decorating. Um, almost every corner of the house is filled with holiday decorations. Um, some that are just family heirlooms and things that we absolutely love and have collected over the years and other things that just kind of bring a smile to my face and to my family's faces. So uh, we go a little bit insane with our decorations and to have all of the hot mess that happens when I do a shopping trip just I don't think would be a good idea for me, for my family, or for any of you that are doing your shopping. So this will be my last shopping trip. If I do decide to do a shopping trip before the first of the year, I will post that on my Facebook page. So it's just Mickey's Magical Delivery. It's not a closed group, so if anybody wants to go over and check out the page, please feel free to do that. But before um, I make that decision. I kind of want to see how things are rolling out here in the month of December. So just bear with me. I will post when my next shopping trip will be, but it probably won't be until after the first of the year. If you are new to the channel, before I jump into the haul, a couple of quick things that I want you to be aware of. The first one, we do a giveaway every single month here at the channel. So if you are interested in entering our, entering our giveaway, you just have to be a subscriber. New subscribers get three entries in the month that they uh, join our little Disney journey here and hit that subscribe button. Existing subscribers you already get one entry just as our thanks for being existing subscribers and then if you comment on any of the videos that we upload over the course of the month of November you'll get additional entries into the drawing so what is it that we give away well whoever's name is drawn we ask that you send us a quick email and let me know what your wants and wishes your favorite things about disney would be so that we can go and we can customize a box of mystery goodies for you something that will be specialized just to you and i love that's probably one of the things that i love most about the channel is going and doing a little bit of a shopping trip for one of our subscribers just because Number one, I love to shop. Number two, I love to put gifts together. And number three, the idea of building community in that way, just it kind of speaks to me. So, all right, so that's the first thing I want you to be aware of if you are new to the channel. The next thing, and I can already see that it's going to happen. <laughs> Hopefully not, but I have. Uh, my dogs are already acting like complete fools over there. It seems like anytime I sit down to do a video of any sort, my dogs decide, hmm, it's time for us to play. And there's been wrestling, and I'm sure you've heard the duck squeaking, and I'm sure the chicken will make an appearance at some point. I'm not positive, but maybe they'll be, nope, I was going to say maybe they can keep it together, but here they come. Maybe they'll be able to keep it together this video, fingers crossed, but if not, it's always entertaining to watch their antics. That's Maja, by the way. And then the bigger one is Iris, if she should happen to poke her head in. And of course I have my cat, but just walked right over and curled up in my lap as I'm talking. So it's just messy here at our house, but messy in a good way. Uh, oh, and then last thing, if you're new to the channel, this is a haul video. So what I do is I go and I'll go to the character warehouse and I will pick up a variety of different items, most of which are for people that have specifically requested those items. But then sometimes I'll buy extra of certain things or I might have some orders that get canceled. Um, which means that I have some of these items left available. If you are interested in anything that you should happen to see that I'm sharing, you can just send me an email at mickeysmagicaldelivery at gmail.com. I will open an invoice for you. I charge a $10 shopping fee as soon as I open the invoice. And that invoice is based on each shopping fee trip so if you see something in this haul video you'll pay a ten dollar shopping fee and that covers whether you purchase one item or 20 items and then the only other things that you pay for you're going to pay the cost of the merchandise what i paid for it you're going to pay on um, the taxes that i paid so you're just kind of recouping or i'm recouping the taxes or anything i expended um, to purchase that item and then I ask that you as a customer just um, cover the PayPal fees on the merchandise which is 2.9 percent if you're international it's 4.4 um, percent I believe if, if I'm not mistaken 
Um, and then I cover the PayPal fees on your shipping as well as, of course, on my shopping fees. So you shouldn't have to pay the PayPal fee for that. But the, I think those are the highlights. If you see something you're interested in, send me a quick email. If you have questions, I'll be happy to try to respond. Um, because I am on vacation, I am hoping to be able to churn these invoices out within the next day or two. So hopefully, hopefully by Thanksgiving, all invoices will be in your hands. And I just ask that you um, pay for those as soon as you get them. So at least, if not immediately when you get it, if you could pay for it within the 24 hours of receiving it. Um, normally I don't stress too much about that, but with Black Friday coming and I'll be able to share in a couple of days, but I can't right now. We have something pretty awesome for our family coming up. It's a surprise for our children, so I can't share it right now, but I will be able to share it afterwards. But I'm gonna need all of the money that I expended back. So if you could just, if you're gonna place an order, just please make sure that you can pay right away. So I think those are the highlights. Let's go ahead and we'll dig into this haul because there's a lot. There was quite a bit. Normally, when I go to the character warehouse, I'm never lucky with finding pins, and boy, did I find a ton of pins this time. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that, and all of those are over on the table. I'll start off with the clothes, as I normally do. And the first thing, <laughs> there go the dogs. The first thing I'll share is a pair of men's Crocs that I was able to pick up for one of my customers. This is not an extra. These were, I don't know what they were originally, but they were marked at $29.99. So I do have those for my customer that asked for them. I'll dig into my bag of kids clothes. This is um, dwindled down pretty nicely. Um, I only have one dress shop dress for a little one and it is the snacks dress in size large if anybody wanted that. This is kind of a fun dress if you're just even thinking about getting, um, getting something for for a little one just to even kind of play in at the price. This was originally in the $75 range and it's down to $24.99. So $24.99, originally $78. It's a great discount, gorgeous dress, size large. Then for little ones, I still have this little onesie. One of my customers had asked for it and then we ended up having to cancel that order. But this is born to be famous. This is a newborn little onesie. Um, I believe I said in the last video, if anybody wanted that, that I'll take a little bit of a loss on it. I bought it for $12.99, um, originally $24.99, but I'll mark it to $9.99. So if anybody wanted that, I'll take that little bit of a, a hit just so that somebody can wear this. A little girl out there can wear this um, and it's not sitting in my bag. <laughs> it's just sitting over. They're not getting used. It's adorable. And then I did have a request for a kid's park hop till you drop sweatshirt. I'm kind of wishing that they had this in the adult sizes because it's just adorable. So that's this here. And then on the back it says Disney life. Oh, isn't that the truth, Disney life. And then it's got that um, design on the hood here where you've got Tinkerbell. It's just so cute. I would definitely get this if it was adult size. Originally $34.99 down to $14.99. So I was able to pick that up for my customer that was asking for it. That one is not an extra. And now I'll get into the adult clothing. And before I do that, um, I always, or I typically start at International Drive. It's just my preferred location. I I don't know, it's a little bit calmer, although not as much lately. And um, I just have really good luck over at International Drive. And then I'll make my way over to Vineland. Um, yesterday, International Drive had a limit on the number of spirit jerseys that you could purchase. They had it down to one per person, which is a change from the previous weekend where it was two per person or two per adult. Um, but it was one per person at International Drive, so I didn't really get a ton of spirit jerseys there. But then when we went over to Vineland, and I don't know if it was just the cashier that we got, but and I don't think it could have just been the cashier that we ended up going to because there were no signs limiting. All right, so apparently Iris would like me to throw the duck. Um, there were no signs limiting those spirit jerseys, whether it's one or two, two per skew, whatever it might happen to be, normally there are, and there was nothing. So um, we did 
get fairly lucky, but it was in the afternoon at Vineland, so a lot of the sizes had been picked over. I have quite a few different spirit jerseys. Hopefully, I was able to get for everybody that needed them, um, especially in Hocus Pocus. I was able to get quite a few, not so much in the others, but I'll just share what I have. Um, I'll just show, if it's a duplicate, I'll just kind of show it once so that you can see what the style is, and then I'll just mention the size that I have. So here is a Hocus Pocus Spirit Jersey that is just gorgeous with the glitter, and then you can see the front. This one is $18.99, and the one that I have here in my hands is an extra large, and this one, also Hocus Pocus, this is also an extra large. Here's another Hocus Pocus. Let's see here. And this one is an extra large. So if I'm not mistaken, I think I was able to get everybody that needed an extra large, I was able to hook you up because here's another extra large. Not positive, but I think so. Um, and then I have just one dress shop dress. This is the um, Mrs. Potts and Chip dress shop dress. This is a size 2X. So I'll just show you that there. Also $24.99, and this was originally $108 down to $24.99. So if anybody was looking for that, I do have that in a size 2X. I'm gonna just tuck this one away because with that white fabric, I just don't like that sitting out. Oh, okay. All right, I got one of the Disney Cruise Line Purple Spirit jerseys. That is gorgeous. And you can see kind of the faded look at the bottom there. And then on the back, Disney Cruise Line in that purple sparkle. Now this one is a size small. And because Disney Cruise Line, typically their items don't get marked down anywhere near as much. This was originally $64.99. It is $38.99. But I do have that in a size small if anybody wanted it. Then I do have a red Disney Dream tee in a size large, if anybody was looking for that. And this was $13.99 down from $29.99. I do have a Jack Skellington zip up. I think this is an extra large. Yep. Jack Skellington zip up sweatshirt, extra large. And let's see the price. This was $24.99 down from $54. 99 all right and then i love this i almost grabbed this for myself this is so cute this is the happy halloween um a dream to scare it's a black sweatshirt and it's got all of those characters this is the back this is a zip up you can see the front it's got mickey is a vampire there and let's see what size is this i'm not even sure and I'm not seeing tags, so that's not great. All right, so this is a size large. There must have been a tag because it got rung up. So, ah, there it is. Uh, $7.99 down from $49.99. I didn't realize that. If I realized the price on that, I would have gotten a lot more of these because that's insane. Then let's see here. I have... This is an extra large Mickey Halloween party shirt. And this is $9.99 down from $34.99. That was requested by somebody. I think I grabbed a couple of the extra Sanderson sister shirts, but this is what this looks like. You got your Sanderson sisters. And then on the back it says, tonight we fly. And then this was originally $34.99 down to $9.99. And this is a size medium. And then I have an extra large. I'm not sure which size is the extra. I have a large and I have another large. So, all right, this one here. Oh, I cannot believe I'm going to part with this. I can't believe it. And I might not. But if somebody asks for it, I know me and I know that I will part with it. A Jedi training academy robe not for a child this is an adult jedi robe with the patch jedi training trials of the temple 
you can see that look at the inside this is a one size fits all okay now i'm kicking myself that i didn't get more this was originally 64.99 and they are selling it for 14.99 this is insane i so wish that i had decided to just buy myself one maybe my son one i already have our tickets to go see the last jedi um but in truth i'm trying to be really really good for what we have coming up for the family so somebody needs to buy that because if it's left over i know me and i know that i'm going to keep it because it's just awesome but that one is definitely an extra i did have a couple of people that asked me for different sweatshirts they weren't really they didn't care what the sweatshirt was they just wanted a walt disney world sweatshirt told me to pick something nice so i picked this one 39.99 down to 12.99 and i love this mickey mouse in front of the castle it's got a little bit of a retro feel walt disney world logo there or no yeah in front of the castle right it's just a really cute sweatshirt hopefully they like it because they trusted my judgment on that um and then quite a few people asked me for these star wars gray and black sweatshirts with the logo there and it's just really it's an awesome sweatshirt so let's take a look um 19.99 down from 49.99 this is a size large and then I was able to also get a medium in that. All right, this one here, um, I had a customer that asked me for an extra large in this, but I couldn't find it anywhere, so I did grab the large. This is $9.99 down from $34.99. This one might end up being an extra just because I don't know if that size will work for the person, but it is that um, retro kind of raglan tee that has been so popular. Then I did have a request for the Captain Hook Green Tea, $9.99 down from $24.99. And unfortunately, I had a request for two sizes in this gorgeous Wonderground Gallery Tea, but I could only get one. That is just so pretty. I love that. Um, $18.99 down from $36.99. But you can see that there. It's so pretty. It's really, really stunning. All right, and then the last bag of clothes before we go over to the tables. And this is the one that has a ton more spirit jerseys in it. I was able to get a few of the hot pink spirit jerseys as well with the silver on the back. This one is $24.99. And normally these are about $64.99. So $24.99 is still a very good deal. I did get a candy corn candy corn spirit jersey this one is a size extra small unfortunately that's all i was able to get in the candy corn this is the one i wanted so the first extra large i found in that would have been coming home to me because it's awesome um this is an extra small though and i don't i'm not seeing that this one is tagged maybe the other one is because i did end up with two of those both in extra smalls all right, so let's see. Hopefully this one is priced so I know how much they are. Yes, $24.99 for the candy corn spirit jerseys. I have another Sanderson sister one here. This is also an extra large. Let's see here. I do have, there was a request. This might also be an extra. Um, I had a request for an extra large of the dotted Minnie Mouse Disney Cruise Line shirt, and they didn't have that, but they did have a 1X. So I did go ahead and I grabbed that. Hopefully that'll work for the person. $12.99 down from $32.99. This I believe is an extra, but they were so popular, I grabbed it again. $34.99 down to $9.99. It's Let's Boo This, and this is a size extra large. All right, I got one, only one of this purple spirit jersey. It is the actual thing, the purple, not the cruise line purple passion purple spirit jersey from the parks this is a size extra small 24.99 down from 64.99 here's another sanderson sisters one this is a medium so i do have a medium there all right what do we got here this is an extra large like i said i think i'm pretty good on the extra larges so I might have a few extra there. This is another medium. Okay, what size is this? And this is a small. 
They didn't have really any of the largest. That's the thing with the jerseys is you never know what sizes they're gonna have. This one is a large in the pink. Not sure, but I think this one was spoken for. I'm gonna have to just double check my list, but I'll double check. That's a large. Okay, and then the last spirit jersey. This is a size small in the pink. All right, and then the only other thing that I wanted to share with you while I'm over here, um, and I have told people that I'm not gonna shop in the parks just because I don't ever wanna put my pass at risk, but I can easily go to Disney Springs and grab something that is a public place. I don't need a park pass to get into Disney Springs, so I don't feel like I am putting my um, pass at risk at all. Um, so I did have a few people that asked me to get different things. One was a um, bag of the Wishables for $9.99. Those are just so cute. And while I won't be doing outlet shopping, if somebody needed me to pick something up at Disney Springs, because I know me and I know I'll be there quite a few times before Christmas, I, I'd be happy to do that for you. So Wishables, $9.99 for the little Christmas Wishables. And then I had a customer that really wanted to get her hands on the Star Wars Spirit Jersey. I'll show you that on the back. Because some of these things are marked as like in park only, which means that it can only be purchased on Disney um, property. Look at that. That's gorgeous. So this was 60. Mm, let me check. $64.99. So this Star Wars one is $64.99. So I was able to get that for that customer. And then Goofy's Candy Co. is always a must do every time I go. And I had a customer, it feels the same way, so asked me to get some of the um, big chocolate chip cookies, which I did. I grabbed a couple of those. And then some of these marshmallows with peppermint and chocolatey coating. Gorgeous. And they just, oh, I kind of wish I'd grabbed myself some because they look amazing. Some Rice crispy Pops with the frosting there. I figured those were kind of perfect for the holidays. And then, oh, and then we have our bags of Goofy's Candy Co. Sour Cherry Balls. Right, so we had a couple of those that they had requested. So let me share the prices as best I can see those. Um, all right, so let's take a look here. The chocolate chip cookies, it looks like those were $3.99 each. And then the sour cherry balls were $6.29 each. The Rice Krispie Treats, I can't quite see that. I think they were $13.99 and then those little marshmallow things were $4.99. I'll put my glasses on when it's time to do the um, invoice for this person, but they'll be getting some pretty awesome holiday Disney goodies all the way from Goofy's Candy Co. So if there's anything anybody needs me to pick up from there for stocking stuffers or what are, whatever else, you just let me know and I'd be happy to do that for you. So now it is time to go ahead and go on over to the two tables. A lot of the items are small because they're pins. Um, so you'll see, like it doesn't seem like there's as much this time, but it's all because they're kind of small. So hopefully you will enjoy that. Come on along. All right, so I'm gonna start over here on the dining room table today. This is a DVC tote, it's a canvas tote, and you have the patches here. It's an absolutely gorgeous bag. Um, this was specifically requested, and unfortunately, it didn't have an outlet price on it. They were selling this for full price, um, so that's $44.95, but this was, again, it was requested by someone. I do have one of the food string light sets still remaining for $19.99, and I know that those are starting to be sold out in the outlet, so if you still wanted one, I do have one. Then I have um, quite a few of these Mickey Icon tumblers. I had a customer that asked me for quite a few of them, but I did pick up a couple of extra. And then I have the same style in the... Um, shot glass. The shot glass is $2.99 and the tumbler is $5.99. Then 
they had some new tea towels that were out, or kitchen towel. This is the uh, tea party, or the mad tea party one. Let's see it, what it says here. It says, have a cup, you're invited to the mad tea party. So that's just really cute. And I did pick up quite a few now. This is just a single towel, but they are adorable. And these are $9.99, originally $19.99. Then I do have a couple of these gorgeous black and silver Mickey frames for, let's see here, $9.99 down from $29.99. So if you were looking for a quick, easy present for somebody for Christmas, that's a perfect choice. I do have two of those. Both of those are extras. I did pick up one of the park patches uh, requested, $7.99 down from $19.99. That one is already spoken for. I do have a couple of the Minnie Mouse uh, ear hat ornaments for $4.99. And then the Small World ornament, let's make sure, $4.99 as well for that. Then let's see here. I do have a couple of the Light Up Pumpkins. Let's see if I remember the price. And this one isn't tagged, and I don't know that this one is either. I want to say that these were $5.99, but I did pick up a couple extra. I'll just have to double check the receipt. Um, and then I have a lot of the Halloween Party 2-pin packs. These were originally $21.99, and they were selling those for $7.99. So I got as many as I could, um, and I had a lot of people that were requesting them. So I'm not sure that I'll have any extras, but if you did want to try, just send me a quick email. Then I have a whole bunch of these adorable um, little earring, post earring sets. I picked up a couple of the Elsa ones. I have quite a few of the Belle, because I know she's very, very popular. I have Jasmine, a couple of those. I have a couple of the Cinderella. One of the Tinkerbell posts. I have a few of the Auroras. And then just a couple of the aerials. Now these were originally $9.99 and they were selling those for $1.99. So those kind of make perfect stocking stuffers or just little quick gifts. For the jewelry sets that they had, I went ahead and I purchased one of each of the ones that I saw. So they have the um, Aurora one here. Those are the earrings. And then this really beautiful necklace. I have the Jasmine. And then you can see the earrings there. I also have the bell. And here is the necklace. Tinkerbell, I did go ahead and grab two just because I know how popular she is. So I have two of the Tinkerbell sets and you can see the earrings there. Then I have one of the Cinderella. And I have one of the Elsa. Now these were originally $20, but they were selling these for $5.99. So again, kind of a perfect gift if you have a little lady that you're trying to do some shopping for, for the holidays. All right, so over on this table, they did have some of the Ratatouille uh, tea towels, just like those teacup towels there. These are also $9.99. You can see that there. Don't mind all the stuffing that you're seeing on the bottom. Then I did pick up just a couple of these holiday throws. These were originally $60. Let me show you the picture there. $60. And I want to say that these were $19.99. They are absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, nice, soft um, fleece. Just beautiful. I wish that I had grabbed one for myself, but I'm trying to be really, really good. The Believe picture frames, I showed this last week as well. I grabbed what they had there um, because I had so many orders for these, $12.99 down from $29.99. Then there, was, there were a few prints, but nothing that anybody had ordered. Boy, that's a glare from the light. I'm sorry about that. Oh, and now you can see my ears. Well, it's better than the glare. So uh, I didn't get a lot of the prints, but I did have to get this one just because it is so cute with the characters sitting there watching 101 Dalmatians. 
It's just too stinking cute. It was $19.99. It is available. It was an extra. So if anybody wanted one. And then I have all of these little Funko Pop figures. I'll go ahead and tell you what they are. But these were originally $14.99. They're down to $7.99. I have um, quite a few of them because people had requested them. But I also have a few that I saw and I picked up a few extras. So this is plain crazy. There is also the Conductor Mickey. Steamboat Willie I have a few of. The Apprentice Mickey, I grabbed, I think, three of those. And then I have a couple of Mary Poppins. I think one of those is an extra. They also had a bunch of these really awesome postcards from Wonderground Gallery. Originally, let's see here, I think these were $5.99 originally, and they were all $1.99. So that was the Hatbox Ghost. Then I also have this absolutely gorgeous scene from Beauty and the Beast, and I picked up quite a few of those. So if you needed some as extras, I also have one from Fantasmic, and just the detailing on this is gorgeous. And if you're anything like me, you'll take these postcards and you'll frame them and use them as art in your house. I have a couple others, but I'll continue along here. I do have one Headless Horseman um, candle holder left. I want to say he was $12.99 from... Oh yeah, I can't see that through the thing, but I'm sure you can. But he is $12.99. I picked up a few of the blue My Happy Place tumblers, just because I know everybody loves these, for $7.99. And I do still have one of the pink Dream Big tumblers. I have one set of the Meet Me at the People Mover, Meet Me at the Purple Wall buttons for $1.99. The Passport uh, coin purse for $9.99. They had these really cute Halloween snap bracelets. I'm going to have to check the receipt because they're not marked. But I want to say that they were $1.99 or maybe $2.99. I had one person ask me for one, um, so I have one extra. Then they had these gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous note card sets in a tin. Ten note cards inside. You can see kind of the designs there. And these were originally $30 down to $14.99. I did get one extra in case anybody wanted that. I do still have one of the Christmas towel uh, sets as well. These were originally $21.99 and those are down to $9.99. So if anybody still wanted that. Some of the Mickey ear hat ornaments for $4.99. I picked up five of those in case anybody wanted those. So you've got some ornament options there. Then there is the mini with the flowers. It's kind of a little 3D element on there as well, which is one of the reasons I grabbed it. So this is for an iPhone X or XS. And then this is for the iPhone XS Max. So if anybody wanted one of those. Now those phone cases are $7.99. They were originally $29.99. Also a great stocking stuffer if you're looking for some quick things. Then I do still have one phone case. It's a regular Mickey Silhouette iPhone 7 6S. $7.99 for that one as well. I do still have a couple of the Halloween lanyards. They are the double-sided, so you've got the jack-o'-lanterns on one, and then you have the spiders and bats on the other, and those are $4.99 down from, I think they were like $18, $16, but they are down to $4.99, and I do have two of those. Let's see here. We have um, a Toy Story 4 set, which I saw this, and I'm wishing I had grabbed more just because they are awesome. I just, this close to the holidays, I didn't really want to have anything get left over. So this is originally a $30 set, if I'm looking at that correctly, $20, $28 set, down to $12.99. And then I also picked up the Wreck-It Ralph set as well so there are two options here if anybody wanted one and here comes Minnie Mouse she wants to join the fray so this is one of the plush figures from the Epcot International Food and Wine so this is it was the only food and wine um, item that I saw when we were shopping she was originally $21.99 and I'm gonna have to check and see what the receipt was on her I can't remember I think she was $10 maybe $12 but I will just double check if you wanted her then let's see here, Alex and Annie bracelets, or Alex and Annie. All right, so I have some of the black rope ones. I believe I have one extra in those, $9.99 for those. And then I picked up a ton of these Make Your Own Magic 
They were originally $40 and they were selling them for $9.99. I grabbed a ton of them, as you can see here. That entire stack is the same design. They didn't have a ton of designs when I went in, so I grabbed what I could of the designs that they had. I did pick up only one of the Ursula because somebody had requested her. I have gotten um, these villain ones before and they were kind of difficult um, for people to purchase. So I did get this one. It was requested, so it's not an extra. And look at that. That was originally $45 down to $9.99. Then let's see here. I did pick up a few of these Chase Your Dreams um, or Chase Your Dream. Again, $40. $40 originally down to $9.99, so they kind of make the perfect gift for somebody. It's well within a price range. They had a few of the Precious Moments figures, and I was so happy to see this. This is the Ariel Precious Moment, originally $60 down to $29.99. And let me, it's not in color, but you can get a sense for what she looks like. Live your dreams. And that one again, that's Ariel. Um, before I show you the Belle one, I had a couple of these Moana postcards as well, $1.99 if anybody wanted those. And then there was a request um, for a Belle porcelain figure, Precious Moments figure, a while ago, so I grabbed a couple of these. $24.99, she is gorgeous. And then let's see here what the original price was. I'm not sure, it doesn't show it on this one. Um, but I would imagine that they would have to be somewhat similar. So Ariel is $29.99, Belle is $24.99. Then we get into the Magic Bands. Now, the Magic Bands, none of them are marked. I want to say that they were $7.99, but I can double check the receipt. Um, I picked up quite a few of the Haunted Mansion because I know how popular that one is. And a ton of the Minnie Mouse I had a couple of people with me, so we stuck right to our limits, um, but we have a lot of Haunted Mansion, and we have a lot of Minnie Mouse, and one, only one of the Mickey and Gang uh, Magic Band, $7.99. I think that this one was requested, but I'm not sure, so I just, I have to double check that that one might be an extra. I do have a few of the Jingle Bell Sippers for $20. And I have a few of the Christmas tree popcorn buckets as well. I picked up six of each. Most of those are spoken for, but I might have an extra or two. So let me know if you're interested. I still have one of the Keys to the Kingdom keychains for, I think this one was $4.99. So if you were looking for something small. Then the Glow um, Halloween Party tumbler you can see that there can't remember exactly how much I think $3.99 for this one but I'll, I'll double check that receipt before I do any invoices they had a couple of these really cute pin lanyard um, chains or I guess you could use it as a key holder um, but this is $6.99 down from $17.99 I grabbed two of those if anybody wanted one I do have a teacup a coin purse for $9.99 and then just because I just knocked it over uh, let me pull this out of here so you'll see in a second I was able to grab a whole bunch of these gorgeous pins these hinged pins Captain Hook it looks like scar um, or actually this comes off and I'm curious because I have all of them except for this one yeah so that's scar and if you look at these they're hinged and you can just open them up so that you can see who is inside of them now this is the set from the Halloween party it is a boxed set that is not a true frame it's just a box and close these up again um, but they're all of them together and let me pull this up limited edition let's see here these were originally 100 looks like this is nine, $109, and they were selling them for $53.99. They only had one left on the shelf, so I went ahead and I grabbed it, and I do have somebody that had specifically requested that. So as long as they still want it, it'll be theirs. But if you were interested, just let me know. Now, some additional pin sets that I picked up. I picked up a whole bunch of the Alice in Wonderland pin sets. 
originally $25 down to $8.99. Then I grabbed a couple of these uh, combo sets. It's just two pins, Cruella de Vil and Evil Queen. I can't remember exactly. I think these were $6.99, but I'll have to double check. Um, I grabbed a few of these um, Can You Feel the Love Tonight pins because they were so popular last time, $3.99 for those. And I did grab a few of those. I have the cocoa pin here. This was $6.99 down from $17.99. And I did grab quite a few. This was the only one that I saw of this particular pin design for $6.99. So if anybody wanted that one, I do have it. Then the Toy Story Alien pin for $6.99 down from $14.99. I did grab a few of those. Not a lot, but a few. These, I'm going to keep one of these myself. This is the... Oop, that's upside down. Uh, one of these Halloween party pins, and I'm just going to try to get as close as I can so that you can see all the little figures that are on there. It's quite blurry, but you can see, and it's got like a 3D element to it. These were, I think, $7.99 down from, what's the price on that? Yeah, I can't quite see that. It's not focusing, but I want to say that they were around... 17 18 dollars and they were down to 7.99 and i have quite a few of those then also i grabbed quite a few of these terrifying transformations where this part spins and you see their non-evil side or their apparently non-evil side and then when you switch it you get to see they're more blatantly evil side, I should say. So I only have this design. Those were originally $17.99 and they were selling them for $7.99. So I grabbed what I could. All right, and then in here, I have a ton of the Jafar, the hook ones. And remember, these are the ones that you open it up and you can see the character. These are the hinged ones. I have the Maleficent one here. And then I have Ursula. The only one that they didn't have as a separate was the scar pin. So if you really have your heart set on the scar one, it's gonna have to be in one of those sets. All right, but these were originally $17.99 and they were selling these for $7.99. So I have a whole bunch, a whole bunch of those if anybody wants some. I picked up quite a few of these looking for more thingamabobs and I'm here for the rose gold pin sets or button sets for $1.99. There's another one of those jack-o'-lanterns. Then somebody had requested the mini witch wall decor, which let's see if it's tagged. I hate that they're not really tagging things. $29.99, I can't remember exactly what she was. This was spoken for though, um, so I, I just can't remember how much that was. And then the Timothy purse, I skipped right over him. I didn't mean to do that. Somebody had requested this little buddy. Originally, it looks like $65 there. So I wanna say he was like $32.99. But that's just such a cute little crossbody. And then I found these as well. So this is the True Original Note Card Set. Look at that. Those pictures, individual note cards are just so cute. And these were originally $30 down to $14.99. And I do have two sets. So if you have somebody that loves stationery in your family and you're looking for Christmas gifts, I do have two of those. All right, so then over to the last table. I did pick up one of the uh, Lilo dolls. There was only one in the store, so I grabbed her for $9.99. And then the Bell doll as well for $9.99. They had these light-up castle pens. I believe that these were $4.99, so I grabbed a few of those. I'm a Monster at a Heart for $7.99. The Famous Hat for $7.99. I have one Disney Cruise Line Zoom Zoom for, I think he was $1.99. I have a couple of the Be Different hats, but one of them is an extra. Uh, so $7.99 for the Timothy Mouse Be Different. And then $4.99 for the Pretzel Plush. These, one of these is going to stay with me for sure. This is a stitch pen for $4.99. And what's really cute, watch this, it lights up. And slowly, like, his badness level just kind of goes off the chart, and then he will eventually turn himself off. I did find um, a few of these as well, these Happy Halloween pins with Daisy Duck. And I, I think they were all $7.99, so that one's $7.99 as well. 
And then some of these, these are just so cute. I might have to keep one. These are the Minnie Mouse pens, little pink bows, $14.99 originally down to $4.99. So really good price there. Then I do still have one of the Danielle Nicole um, pizza bags. It's a crossbody bag. Let's see if I can get a price on this. Oh, I'm not positive. Again, I'm going to have to just double check my receipt. It was the last one that they had. I want to say $36.99, but I'll double check. I'll double check on the receipt if you wanted that. And then the last thing I have on the tables, nope, I have a couple of hats too, so I lied, not the last thing. I did pick up a couple of these stereo Mickey Mouse uh, totes. These were just too cute to pass up. These were $7.99, down from $14.99. Those are just really adorable. Star Wars hat for $7.99, and this is a child's hat here. That one was specifically requested. I believe this was also $7.99. All right, so that was quite the haul, especially with the pins. I'm so excited about the pins because every time I go, they never have the pins that I want. So um, I was very pleased with that. They had a whole bunch, especially those hinged pins, those transformation pins. Um, and I know so many of you are just like me and you are a pin collector, so you will be kind of all over those. Just as a reminder, if there was something that you saw that you wanted and you've never done this before you just simply send me an email at mickey's magical delivery at gmail.com i open an invoice a ten dollar shopping fee applies immediately and then you kind of whatever i have left it is all first come first served so when you send me that email um, i may still have it it might have already gone to somebody else so just be patient for me to respond to you and i go in order of the way those emails are received so you don't have to worry about that but I do have quite a few goodies. And again, it is my last shopping trip for this year. So before I sign off, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you, all of my subscribers. My channel blew up this year by my standards. Now, I'm sure by most people's standards, but I remember having a conversation with my friend in January about how I just want to hit 100 subscribers. And here I am almost to 1500. Now, for me, for the type of channel that it is, um, I'm pretty pleased with that. And that is all because of you. It's because of you as my subscribers and people that just kind of tune into what I post. So thank you for that. Um, I do those contests every month more as just a thank you for coming along with me on this journey. And I'm so grateful that so many of you are doing that. Um, so please feel free to hit the subscribe button if you have not already subscribed come along with us my goal is to try to hit 2000 um it would be amazing if that happened oh hi mosh as a result of vlogmas where i'm posting a video every day um but if not i'm sure hopefully we will get there at some point so now that i've mentioned vlogmas um nope she's got her nose buried in the bag of the treats I should get out of there. So that bag is going to have to go up on the table before too long. I can see that. She can smell food like anywhere. She can smell food anywhere, this little buddy. Hi, honey. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, and here comes Iris because there's no way that she'll be outdone. Oh, no. She stopped at the dock. So that's good. And there goes Maja because she heard the dock. Um, I kind of lost my place, but I know I was starting to talk about Vlogmas. I'm going to try my hand at my very, very first Vlogmas, uploading one video every single day um, until December 25th. And then I'm also going to do a Hana Vlog, where, um, because if you watch the channel, you know, I have quite a few students who are Jewish, and I did want to make sure that I was being as representative as possible. So we'll have Vlogmas, we'll have Hana Vlog. With Vlogmas, we're going to have um, mystery pin advent calendars. We've got that new limited edition pin advent calendar. We're going to have um, Christmas card exchange. So if you'd like to do a Christmas card exchange with me, all my P.O. Box information is in the description box below. Uh, if you send me a card, I will send you a Disney-themed card. Um, so if you are interested in that, please come along with us for Vlogmas. And then Hana Vlog, I'll try to come up with something really fantastic for that as well. I know there will be some pin unbaggings. 
in a Hana vlog, but it'll be kind of just really fun stuff. And I'm still building the content for Vlogmas, so if there are any suggestions or ideas that you might happen to have, please feel free to leave those in the comment section below. So, until our next video, as far as a haul video next year, thank you for coming along with me. I am blessed each and every day that I have all of you um, to kind of participate in this with me and I couldn't I couldn't say more about how thankful I am for all of you and until our next video bye bye